the salary for all in one contracting and design. Today we're using uh, Jacob Bean uh, stain. And before we use the stain, I should already use the stain and we're gonna be using it as a, uh, an all purpose uh, conditioner. Uh, so this is what it kind of look like. See these white blotches I see? After I put it on, I start to get these little white uh, blotches like this. So what I've done now is basically take my, uh, my uh, 120, then I go to the 220, and I basically do a little sanding on it all the way across. Then I'm gonna use the conditioner on it, and then a little bit of stain, uh, after about 30 minutes in between each. I do like the conditioner here at all, because the conditioner you can put on with a cloth, and the cloth weaver really works uh, fairly well for getting it. You do it across the grain first, and when you dry it off, you wipe with the grain. Okay, so after we finish sanding, I use my Varsol here and give it a, a nice damp cloth. And I basically just wipe it off as much as I can. The Varsol is quite strong, so make sure you have a lot of hair. So I basically wipe off all as much as I can. And it looks kind of rough right now, so we're going to be uh, putting on this conditioner. So before we get this going, we're going to find the cloths from all the big cloth bag and make sure it's lint free. Check and clean, make sure it's nice and uh, there's nothing on it. I dip it in, get nice and wet. Then we're gonna start to wipe against the grain first. Okay, so I take it, wipe along the grain, and the other direction. This is across the grain. So I'm just doing it this way as well to get it in the corners, but still continue across, across the grain. Now this product, project here, or this product I'm using, is also has to work with a urethane or, or a um, oil-based product. It can work with a water base. Uh, this is what it's starting to look right now. The smell of it is quite strong. And we keep on going against the grain. And but when you're finishing off and drying it off, you're wiping against with the grain like this to finish off. But for now, we're just going, I guess it gets you to go all direction, make sure that you get a good uh, thing. So you're going to get it saturated, so you can keep dipping and keep working at it. So after it was done, it looks uh, quite uh, finished off. But you see the spot right here, you can still see it look kind of a little bit white. I have to deal with that after it dries and see what happens after we stain it.